Hello, thank you for joining me. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. This is to whom it may concern, and you know more about this than I do. Don't forget to drop by one of our lives, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Um, I don't go live. At, my live schedule is changing, so make sure that you hit that bell icon so you know when I'm going to go live. I will always put it in the community section beforehand. Okay. All right, first card out is what you're going through right now that will lead to personal growth and its purpose is so that you will be better prepared for the future, okay? Oh, I don't know why I was turning them in reverse. The exile, ooh, okay, let's see what this is about. Forsaken soldier, strategy, failure, and trauma. All right, you're definitely going through something very traumatic right now. Or, since I pulled it in reverse, um, you could be coming out of it. So let's see. The energy that is coming at you. We're going to pull two cards. I am doing these with reversals, this deck only. And the first card out is the energy that you are moving into that you don't see. And the energy that is coming towards you that you don't see. Strategy, failure, and trauma. You know, I think it was supposed to be in reverse. The Forsaken Soldier. You're, you're healing. You've undergone an extreme healing. And you're coming out of it. Or you're in the middle of it. I'm not sure. So, air element, number 25 in reverse. Philosophy, discrimination, and empathy. Okay, so you're in the middle of it. You are failure, trauma, feeling forsaken, exiled. You have number 25, air in reverse. Philosophy, discrimination, and empathy. So, you're not seeing clearly. You're not thinking clearly. You... You're just an absolute mess right now, honey. All right, you're not sure what to believe. You're not sure how you got there. You're not sure how to get out. Why? Oh, why kind of a thing. The energy coming at you is grays, nine, short, in reverse, timid, misunderstood, and shy. So very overt, very in your face. Okay. Okay. Mm, this is not you. This is you. You're in it, and someone is in your face with it, okay? So if you're in the middle of this feeling exiled, mm -hmm, you're really going through it right now. How does spirit suggest that you move forward through this? This is rough. This I'm not going to lie. This is some tough stuff right here. So you've got to be close to your wit's end. You don't know what to do. And you can't see clearly. You can't think clearly. You're numb. I'm getting a numbness, okay? You're, don't numb out. Whatever you do right now, do not numb yourself out, okay? All right. How does spirit suggest you move forward out of this? Because this energy that's coming at you is not shy, is not timid, and is very clear, direct, and to the point. Feels very bold and in your face. Now, their purpose, I don't know. Okay? Spirit suggests taking shelter. The answers lie within. You need to get someplace away. You need to get away. You need to be someplace safe. First light, beginning a new cycle, so that, okay, so this energy that's coming at you is not a good energy. This is a very bad energy, and they have you in this. This energy here has you in this cycle. You need to get away and begin a new cycle. Gates of triumph, success expands in your life. You need to go somewhere where you can be successful. Where you are at right now is not set up for you to grow in. You know this. This is not a shock to you. 
you need to start something new somewhere else. Now, this could be like a, um, a partner that is just insanely out of their own heads. Um, this could be a boss that really doesn't like you. This is a very specific reading. This could be, this could be your own, your own self, but I really do feel that there's an external, um, there's an external energy here. Now, for one of you or two of you, this is actually, this external energy is actually a substance, okay? You need to get away from this substance. We're just going to call it an energy. If this hits for you, then you know what it. Then you know already. You already know, okay, what this energy is. You need to take shelter in a safe place. You already know this, though. Begin a new cycle, and aim for success on your own without this energy around you. If this is a substance, you need to get clear of this substance. If this is an, an individual or a group, you need to get clear of this individual or group because they do not have your best interests in mind. Where you are currently at, it's like a physical location. It could be a physical location that does not have your best interests in mind. And it's making you feel exiled, forsaken soldier, strategy, failure, and trauma. If you are going through trauma right now, you need to leave. You need to leave, okay? Um, this is what you need to keep in mind. Oath. We recently talked about this card. And this is what is what have you promised an oath to? It's supposed to be to you first. Your safety, your peace of mind, okay? If someone is taking their anger out on you, you don't need that. If someone is not treating you in a, like at work, you keep getting passed over, you keep getting passed over, you keep getting passed over, you keep getting the crappy, the crappy um, shifts, the, the crappy jobs, and they refuse to acknowledge how hard you are working. Why is your oath pledged to them? Is it worth it? Because from what I see here, you're, you are in a place where you can't think straight. Uh, okay, okay, here's another one, right? I used to be a truck driver. I drove semis. Dispatch did not care that I did not sleep. They wanted those wheels rolling. They would call me. Why are the wheels not rolling? And I'm like, I haven't slept. I'm going to sleep. They're like, no, you need to get there. Okay. If someone's taking out their issues on you, you need to leave this situation. You know this. You don't think that you can, that you're capable of doing it without this, this, this um, energy. If this is a substance, if this is an addiction of some kind, you need to leave it behind. Because it has you where you can't even think anymore. This is codependency at its worst. Okay. You need to remember, oath, that you need to be there for you. I just had this conversation with someone. People forget all the time. They need to be there for themselves first. Otherwise, they can't help anyone else. Okay. All right. What else? Anything else that Spirit has to say about this? There, there are, are organizations you can call, friends, family, what police, whatever you need to do to get yourself into a safe space. Find another job. Okay? Whatever this is. The High Priestess, this is a time to pause and reflect and not take action. Trust your spiritual gifts as nothing is hidden from your divine intuition. You already know exactly what I'm talking about. If this is for you, you know exactly 
what this is. Eight of water, eight of cups. It's so easy to convince yourself that you're trapped when you really aren't. Trust that Source will lift you to new heights and give you greater self-confidence if you affirm your freedom. Knight of Air. Get ready for progress to speed up. The situation requires you to choose logic and intellect over emotion and make your decision quickly. See how quick he's going? Okay, I want you to see something else. I want you to see something else. Right now, you're the nine of air. Okay? You're the nine of air right now. You're stuck in your head. Taking shelter. The answers are within. High Priestess, you already know this. You know what you need to do. First light. Begin a new cycle. Eight of water. Eight of cups. It's time to walk away from something. Begin a new cycle. Gates of triumph. Success expands in your life. Night of air. Get ready for progress to speed up. Once you leave this energy behind, your your progress will increase and increase and increase. Okay? One thing for you to keep in mind, I can't believe that the cards came out in exact order like that. Well, yeah, I can. Spirit is heavy in this and telling you, you know what you need to do. This is codependency at its worst, okay? The most toxic. My soul guides me in the right direction. Your soul, that inner quiet space, is your consult. It's the high priestess, honey. It always, it will always guide you in the right direction. My soul guides me in the right direction. You know you're not supposed to be where you are, or you're not supposed to be doing what you're doing, or you're not supposed to be with who you are with. You know this. And it's time for you to take action. You might find help at one of the numbers that are listed in the description box. Drop it down and look at those, okay? All right, you guys know I love you. I will see you soon. Peace to you. Ciao.